So thanks for tuning in. As you see, today's topic is fog. How does it form? Now, we talked a little bit about clouds um, last week. That was one of the first subjects we had, and I hope you're still looking for those clouds using your cloud chart. Also, off uh, Friday, I did my gardening segment, and we did the, the beans on our windows, and my kids were excited this morning, got up. Hopefully you checked them, you put them on your windows. I'm starting to see some roots pop out. So we'll maybe do an update on that and coming up later this week as we see some of these uh, plants start to take off. But today's topic is brought to us by meteorologist Aisha Scott. She's gonna talk about how fog forms and a really cool experiment that you can do at home um, over the next couple of weeks, maybe even try today, something you can get outside and do. And she's gonna talk about how fog forms. So here is Aisha. Welcome back to WCNC's Weather School. I am meteorologist Aisha Scott, and today we are going to be talking about how fog forms. And I'm going to use this simple experiment to maybe give you some better insight to how fog actually develops. So what you'll need for this experiment, a jar of hot water. Now you want it to be hot. It doesn't have to be boiling hot water, but you want it to be hot. You'll also need some ice. I have a plate of ice right here. You'll also need a strainer. If you don't have a regular strainer, you can use a styrofoam cup. Uh, just poke some holes in the bottom because you want the cold air from the ice to interact with the warmer air in this jar. So to get started, what I'm going to do is pour out some of this water. This has been sitting uh, for quite some time, maybe about 10 minutes or so. Be careful though, because this water is hot. So you're going to pour this out into another cup. You wanna leave about an inch of hot water uh, in here. So that's pretty close. We'll pour a little bit more out. Again, be careful because this water is certainly hot. All right, so you wanna leave about an inch, um, about an inch, a little bit of more is fine, uh, in the jar. I'll move this out the way. Then what we're going to do is put the strainer on top of the jar. And then you want to pour the ice cubes into the strainer. And some of these ice cubes have already started melting. Uh, so what we have here, we have the jar with the hot water and then we have the strainer with the ice on top of, or the ice in the strainer, I should say. So what we want to happen, we want the hot water to interact with that colder air at the top. And what we want to see is condensation. So we want to see condensation form around this jar here. So we're going to give it about five minutes or so and let's see what happens. All right, so our jar has been sitting for some time now and here's a look at what we have. We've got a lot of condensation in the inside of this jar and that comes from the interaction of the cooler air at the top, the warmer moist air at the bottom and essentially this is how fog forms. So in this example, we'll think of the cooler air at the top as the air above our heads and the warmer moist air at the bottom as the air closer to the surface. So we've got essentially a cloud forming just above above that warmer air at the ground. And whenever we have clouds form either at the ground or close to the surface, that's in turn uh, what fog is. Fog is nothing but a cloud on the ground. So I want you to try this experiment at home. And certainly if you have any questions, send them my way. All right, Aisha, thank you so much. Really cool experiment you can do at home. And again, last week when we talked about clouds on Monday, you wanna go back to our YouTube channel. Um, we have it posted there as well, WCNC. Uh, YouTube's channel. Hopefully you spotted a lot of clouds because we've had quite a few over the last week since we did that lesson. Fog is a really cool uh, cloud that forms near the surface as Aisha mentioned. It's actually a form of stratus cloud. So if you have stratus on your um, your cloud chart, you can make that cloud and actually check it off your cloud chart. Now coming up tomorrow we're gonna have Larry Sprinkle on. He's gonna talk about lightning. Lightning is really one of those cool, spectacular things that happen in the atmosphere. It's actually really dangerous as well, but how it forms and everything about lightning, that'll be coming up tomorrow. Hope you guys are doing well. Enjoy the weather today. It is going to be another mild one, not as hot as this weekend with temperatures in the mid 70s today. A big cool down coming later this week. So get outside early this week because we're gonna see some chilly air moving in. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson and thanks for tuning in to Weather School.